As the aircraft tore across the stormy night sky, the cabin was filled with the deafening sound of its engines. The rain beating on the windows provided a foreboding scene for the mayhem that was about to happen. The luggage beneath the passengers carried a dark secret that they were unaware of. With years of flight expertise under her belt, Captain Emma Harris of the airline inspected the instrument panel alongside her first officer, Mark Williams. His brow furrowed in worry. The level of turbulence exceeded their expectations, and the passengers' nervous whispers reverberated around the plane. A sturdy set of chains held a large metal crate in place inside the main deck's dimly illuminated cargo hold. The crew and passengers were oblivious that the plane contained something in the cargo array that was ready to start some shit, and the sound of the aircraft brought the creature from its sleep. The monster let out a horrible sound as the aircraft tore through the storm clouds. Its eyes radiated an awful radiance. They were devoid of any humanity. It started to rattle in its chains, like the whole essence of evil was trying to break free. Captain Harris and First Officer Williams exchanged a troubled look up in the cockpit. It became more difficult to keep control as the turbulence increased. There was a loud crash from the cargo hold below, as they were ready to signal for help. The entire aircraft was startled by the startling noise. What the hell was that? Williams yelled, what the hell was his that? terrified eyes wide. The intercom crackled to life, the voice gruff and garbled, before Harris could reply. I emerge from the abyss awakened. The jet will be my ship and the people inside will be my dinner. The pilots exchanged horrified looks as they tried to figure out where the eerie message was coming from. Their scared faces took on an unsettling glow as the lights in the cockpit flickered. A chilling wind felt as though it were blowing through the little room, giving them the chills. The evil spirit in the cargo hold escaped its restraints. Its hideous shape materialized, a combination of rotting flesh and evil force. It descended the stairs to the main deck with an uncanny sense of agility, leaving a path of fear in its wake. As the creature reached the passenger area, panic erupted. The once muted murmurs escalated into screams of terror as passengers caught sight of the abomination. Flight attendants rushed to secure the cabin, but the demon moved with unnatural speed, leaving chaos in its wake. No way. It can't In be. the cockpit, Captain Harris frantically radioed for help her voice desperate amidst the pandemonium. The storm outside mirrored the turmoil within the airplane, as if nature itself recoiled from the unleashed evil. The demon's destination was clear. It sought the pilots, the masters of this flying vessel. Captain Harris and First Officer Williams braced themselves as the cockpit door burst open. The air became thick with malevolence as the creature entered, its eyes fixated on its prey. Your souls are forfeit, it hissed a guttural sound that sent shivers down their spines. Captain Harris reached for the emergency axe, a last resort to defend themselves. But before she could swing, the demon lunged its razor-sharp claws tearing through the air. First Officer Williams fought back, desperation in his eyes, but the creature's unholy strength overwhelmed them. As the demonic entity took control of the cockpit, the airplane began to descend, veering off course. The passengers, trapped in a nightmare of terror, clung to their seats as the airplane plummeted toward the unforgiving ocean below. Rain pounded against the windows, the storm outside reflecting the havoc within. The pilots, now lifeless, slumped in their seats as the demonic force seized the controls. The airplane descended further, the ocean's surface looming closer with each passing moment. In the final moments, a haunting silence enveloped the airplane. The demon, having achieved its grisly conquest, reveled in the impending catastrophe. The once vibrant vessel now hurtled toward the dark abyss of the ocean, its lights flickering like dying stars. The impact was inevitable. The airplane crashed into the roiling sea, swallowed by the depths. The storm raged on, indifferent to the tragedy that had unfolded in its midst. The artifact, now free from its metallic prison, sank into the murky waters, its malevolent energy lingering like a stain on the ocean floor. Above, the storm clouds began to disperse, revealing a moonlit sky. The ocean, calm once more, held the wreckage of Flight 187 in its cold embrace. The horror that had befallen the passengers and crew now rested in the watery grave, a macabre secret hidden beneath the surface. 